Hey, it's Mike from Trudus Design. And if you're watching this video, there's a high chance that you're either looking to buy a battle belt setup like this, or you already have one and you're trying to figure out how to attach the pistol holster to it effectively and the correct way. When you look at the other websites that sell these battle belt setups or uh, the attachments for the pistol holsters, uh, it's quite confusing which one you should choose. So there's basically the three slot uh, molly type, there's the uh, belt uh, clip, and then there's the paddle thing that you, that's supposed to go on either the belt or uh, your trousers. And it's actually not really clear how you would use these on a battle belt, but I'm here to show you what's the right way. And there are two alternative ways how to use those mounts on the battle belt setup. So let's start with, uh, in my opinion, the, the right way, how to mount uh, a pistol holster to the battle belt setup. So here I have the double tap uh, holster for the SSX23 and Mark 23. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to attach it properly. And the trick is to use this two slot wide molly mount. The problem is almost nobody sells this. I really don't know why, but when I tried searching them for either in US or in Europe, almost no retailers carry these. They only carry these, uh, the, the three previous types I mentioned. And it's really, I really don't understand why, but we're actually selling them on Design. We sell a lot of different accessories, including this one. So if you want, you can get one there and I'll show you how it works. So you basically uh, attach it to the, uh, to the holster of your choice. And then what you can do is you have to take these thongs and just slide them behind the molly loops. Just like so. So they eventually go all the way through. They basically clip into place and then there is this small locking tab that prevents it from coming apart. So now it's on there, it's not moving. Uh, here I have the uh, prototype uh, carbon kit that we're doing on Trudeau's design and boom, that's it. That's how you mount it. Um, but let's say you don't want to buy this mount exactly. Uh, you have the option just to order from just a regular retailer and you have the option just to choose the three mounts that are the most popular ones. Well, I'm here to tell you that the molly mount won't work. I tried it, uh, it's falling off, it doesn't work. But you can use a hack, so you can actually take the belt clip and the pedal mount and use those for the battle belt setup. But that includes a little bit of tinkering. What you have to do is you have to completely take the um, belt section out of the belt you have to remove the buckle and this plastic part. And then what you can do is, let me quickly remove my molly mount. And what you can do is you can run the belt out through this hole, this section right here, and just run it over the, over the molly mounts. And that way the belt is gonna be exposed. Uh, and you can actually mount the either the pedal mount or the belt clip. Uh, I personally don't like this way because um, that limits me from moving things around quickly and efficiently. And plus the paddle mount is quite big, so you can actually uh, conflict with the items uh, standing uh, next to it. So I personally love this, uh, this molly mount. I don't know why anybody is selling this, but I mean, yeah, just this is just the way to go. It costs uh, I'm, uh, basically the same as the other mounts, so there's no reason not to get it. So this hopefully solves the question on how to mount the pistol holster to the battle belt. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content we make, and there's gonna be lots of reviews and uh, other instructional videos like these coming up very soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.